Yo YouTube, what's poppin' it is your boy Pookie here. Right, we've got a bit of a different review, review today. This isn't a RC uh, review, this is actually a mobile phone by the company Xiaomi, which is basically, from what I've gathered, it's basically Chinese, the Chinese equivalent, equivalent of Apple, of what, basically what Apple is to like the Western, you know, countries. Xiaomi is in China, so the quality is actually quite good. And this model is called the Redmi S2. Now this is brand new, I've this, had this sent out by the lovely guys over at Gearbest, and they wanted me to review this for you guys, so, yeah, let's see if we can wiggle it out of the box with one hand. Cause you know I do all this with one hand. I'll probably end up breaking the phone by then. Ah, so before we open it up, I'll just take a little look in the back and just it says there. So we've got a 16 megapixel AI powered front camera with an LED selfie light which is not bad for all you that like to take selfies and stuff like that you know you've got the light on the front. We've got a 12 megapixel plus 5 megapixel AI powered dual camera at the back so it's got two cameras so that'll be interesting to see. We have a 5.99 inch HD uh, display with this 18 by 9 rate and aspects ratio and we've also got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 Octa-Core processor I'll still a little bit more viewing into that but I think that's a quite a good processor um, it's also dual banded uh, so you can use it with different basically if you live in America or any other countries this is fully unlocked to any other different carriers so you can use like Horizon and things like that, but as I live in the UK, I'm probably using either like a Vodafone or T-Mobile. Is it T-Mobile still going? Or is that part of Orange now? I can't remember. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with all the uh, crap. It's dual SIM, so you can put two SIM cards in this. Let's open it and see what we get. Now, just from like a quick glance at it there, it's quite a big phone. I mean, it's quite a big size. You can see in my hand there. I'd say it was bigger than uh, like uh, an iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, just slightly bigger than that. Quite nice. That's the fingerprint scanner on the back. Mm. Yeah, so you can put your micro SD card in there, plus you've got your two nano SIM slots in the SIM card tray. 16 megapixel by 12 megapixel. Yeah, open it up and turn it on. So we got the little protector off the front there, I don't know if it's like a protector or just a little bit of an information card. But we will go into the box a little bit further and see what else we get in the box. Not much to it, we get the USB power lead for it so that'll be to charge it. And we also get the charger plug itself. Now I'm in the UK so I'll have to get an adapter for this. Or just use any other kind of USB plug so that's not a big issue at all. We have kindly provided in this box Give it a little open. Give it the one on. We have provided a case in here. We've also got the instruction manual. Just to show you a few instructions on it. Obviously, it's a mobile phone. Don't really need to read much into it. It's pretty much a standard Android phone. So, if you know how to use tablets and other Android devices, it'll be quite simple to use. Let's have a look at this little case that comes with it. Excuse me, I have to do this with one hand. Oh, somebody wants me on Facebook. Ooh, it's a see-through case. Hmm, quite nice, actually. To be honest, I might end up ordering a harder case for this. Something that's a little bit more robust. But yeah, let's get the phone powered on. So I've just gone through the quick setup of it and uh, it's just now loading up the apps. So one of the things I do like about this, it's got 64 uh, gigabyte built in RAM, so you've got plenty of storage in there. It's one of the nice things I like about this. Also comes with a fingerprint scanner, so it's a nice little uh, handy, uh, don't even know what you call it, what would you call it, Kayla? A handy feature, feature, feature. So we've got the phone open there, we can just have a quick little look through. Can't even know what to look at first, look at the camera. Hello. I don't know if 
you can really see on there, but that's actually quite clear. I'm filming through a phone, you can see my phone's reflection. But what I'll do is I'll probably take some photographs with a video of the phone and show you how nice the video is with that. But from what I can see, it's all, you know, it doesn't lag at all, it's a very fast phone. I like the feel of it as well, it uh, screens nice and I don't know what you'd say, it's slick. I think it's definitely nicer than the iPhones. Definitely nicer. Mm, so let's have a quick look at the specs. So we're now using the Xiaomi phone just to see what the quality is like. A little bit of wobble to see if we can give what the image stabilization will be like on it. So do a little bit of a walk around the garden. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. So all in all, this is a reasonably priced phone. I can really can't fault it. It's nice, it's snappy, it's fast. Got plenty of memory space on it, I really can't fault it. So if you do want to pick one of these, I'll leave the links down in the description just below. Also check out to see if there's any coupon codes that are active for it, because if there is, I'll also leave a coupon card in the coupon code down in the description for that. I hope you like this video of the review of the uh, Xiaomi phone, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one, guys.